You've seen us drinking here. So either join in or swear you won't tell a soul. You wouldn't want to end up like Lucas now, would you? I don't want to drink with you, but I promise I won't say a word to anyone. You youngsters have got no backbone. Still, remember what you promised. One word about this and we'll make your life hell. And if you ever decide you want to have some fun after all, you know where to find us. Talk to me, brother. What are you doing here? What does it look like? Drinking. But we're all monks. Youngster, when you're as old as I, you'll understand. But you're the cicators. You're the ones meant to be keeping order here. How can gambling and drinking be a fitting part of a monk's life? If you really want to know, see for yourself. I'd rather go to bed. Go, brother. Go. Be fresh and alert for tomorrow's work. We'll just drink this down and then we'll be leaving too. I'll say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. I'm not so sure. It's a bit sour. God knows what's in it. Don't be absurd. It's a first-class cask, direct from Znoimo. No, I know the taste of a good vintage and this isn't it. I bet you that wretch Yorick got the cask. And what is it, brother? What trouble is... I'd like to... What troubles you? What's there left to drink to? To our fresh young novices, our swift steeds and our boundless cellars. You and your novices, you old pervert. A toast to our future abbot. I'll drink to that. So, to John, the future abbot, and a pox on Nevis. That killjoy? He'd love to have us all under his thumb. Fat chance. Don't worry. Those youngsters will wise up once they hear all about him. Will they believe it? Even if just two or three of them do, it'll help us. So, to Abbot John, to Abbot John. What trouble is... What is it, brother? What are you doing here? What does it look like? But we're all monks. Youngster, when you're as old as I, you'll understand. But you're the cicators. You're the ones meant to be keeping order here. How can gambling and drinking be a fitting part of a monk's life? If you really want to know, see for yourself. All right, have it your way. What's there left to drink to? To our fresh young novices, our swift steeds, and our boundless cellars. What troubles you? You mentioned Yodok. What does he do for you? Nothing much. He's just a little suckling like you. He'll do whatever it takes to stay on our good side. Sometimes we make use of him when there are errands to run. Where do you get the wine from? I thought the monastery cellars were guarded. So they are, but this wine isn't from the monastery. Listen, lad, would you help us out with something? This cask is almost empty and we need a new one. We're a bit old for such exertions. But you, on the other hand... I'll help you. What do I need to do? Ha! 
I knew it. Help novice Jodok arrange for a new cask. Talk to him first thing in the morning, and by tomorrow night the cask can be on the table. All right, I'll talk to him. I'll say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. In the night, I overheard the cicadas in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh, no. So it's still not over. This isn't a life in service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the cicadas drinking and playing hazard as if they were in a brothel. We should report them. I agree. I warned them if they didn't stop, I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, they told me. Now I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offenses, or for no offense at all. Is there something I can do to help? Would you? I think all it might take is for you to go and sit down with them, have a talk, set things straight. Then they'd leave me alone. Oh, but I'm afraid even this path leads nowhere. They'd probably start hounding you as well. I'm not afraid of them. Brother, you have the courage I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. What troubles you? In the night, I saw the brother Cicatas drinking and playing dice. And why aren't you spending your nights sleeping instead of creeping around spying on your brothers? I only wanted to... I know, brother, I know. But you need to understand that novices shouldn't be poking their noses into the affairs of elder brothers. You're right. A wise decision. You know, life in a monastery is much like life outside in many ways. The monastery walls don't keep out human pride and hatred. Really? I thought monks were above that sort of human folly. They became monks, Gregor, but that didn't stop them being men. Be on your guard as much as you ever were outside. Lies, jealousy, vengeance. They can hurt you here as much as anywhere. Thanks for the advice. Although I don't know if I can follow it. That's up to you, brother.
Are you sure that belongs here? Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the not trouble. You're young. Unless it be one whom he finds better in good works. I was talking last night with the brother Cicatus. It seems you're to fetch them a cask of wine. Since he has the authority like last time. Hey, well. As soon as they yes, to appear. it's true. Remembering the fate of Heli, the priest. I'd like to help you. The well disposed and well, those of good well, Would you really do it? To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery for a bit. I, I know it's forbidden, but we've no other option. If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys, and only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys so I can go and steal wine somewhere else? You see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? I don't have what it takes. I, I can't get those keys, but you could. Or, or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time the prior was sick, and he left the monastery keys in the circator's care. So they unlocked the gates for me. This time we'll have to steal the keys. How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I don't know, but it might be possible to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. He knows his way around locks, and maybe could help us, if you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No, but he could give some advice, or maybe get some lockpicks to open the gate. You'll figure something out. If you think so, I can try. Once you have the key or some lockpicks, come and see me and we'll make our plan. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I am such a dark to my mouth. I was mute and was humble, but silent be my goodness. Here the prophet chose that if the spirit of silence ought to lead us to pass the strange expedition. So much the more ought the punishment for sin make us avoid evil words. Therefore, since this spirit of silence is so important, permission to speak should rarely be granted even to perfect disciples, even though it be for good, holy, and edifying conversation. For it is written in much speaking... What do you desire, Brother Gregor? Sin. And in another place... Here's the book you wanted. Life are in the power Amazing. Of the this really is it. Now I can use it to prepare a cure for our suffering abbot. Then I'll leave it in the library to make it seem as if Brother Librarian left it lying about. There'll be no investigation. It would be against his best interests, as he'll look like the one who wasn't taking proper care of the books. It will drive him mad. I didn't leave that book out, or did I? <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you in return? I'd be interested in finding out the background of the other novices. Well, that's a strange wish you have. And the only ones who know everything about the novices are the abbot and the prior. They keep a record of every monk in the abbot's book. But you'll never get your hands on it. It's locked up in the prior's study. Thanks. You've helped me immensely. No, thank you. About that book, don't even think about breaking in to get it. Is there any way I could help you get elected? Somehow tip the scales in your favour? What would you like to do? Climb up the tower and shout, Vote for Nevelus! Vote for Nevelus! Not exactly. You do have an opponent. John. John isn't my opponent. He's my brother. Just like you and everyone else here. We're all brothers in Christ. But there is something you could help me with. You must know there's a great deal of iniquity here in the monastery. I'd be interested to hear of anything I don't know about. 
Should I find out for you what's going on around here? Let me make this clear. I want to base my candidacy on putting things in order. But if I don't know exactly what's wrong, then my promises are just empty slogans. Very good, then. I'll find out what I can. Thank you, brother. By his words, expressing the you, Lord's brother. commandments in words to the intelligent among his disciples, but demonstrating the divine precepts by his actions for those of harder hearts and ruder minds. The abbot should always remember what he is and what he is called, and should know that to whom more is committed, from him more is required. Let him make no distinction of persons in the monastery. Let him not love one more than another. Unless it be one who he finds better in good works or in obedience. And let him not sh- What would you like? I have all the pages of the torn up book. The art of love can go back to the library. Oh, brother, you can't even imagine how happy you've made me. Since you're clearly a true lover of books, I'll give you a reward I've never given another novice. I'll lend you the key to the cabinet containing forbidden books. And you can look at the peculiar things we've accumulated there. That cabinet strictly off limits to novices, but you've earned my trust. I'm sure you'll recognize that those books contain nothing but dangerous gibberish. And there's a valuable lesson to be learned there. Thank you, brother. I appreciate your trust. Is there anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before, but not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but... Now, if he'd had his... What is it, brother? Brother Sir Cater, my friend. What would you like? To be relieved from duties? No, I'm here because of novice Lucas. I've heard there's some discord with him. Only because that weasel wants to put an end to our nighttime fun. So, we're letting him know who's in charge here. I'd appreciate it if you treat him like a brother again. Well, if he isn't afraid of us, there's nothing to stop him ratting us out. But what do you care, anyway? Grown fond of him, have you? He hates you because you trample all over him and he has nothing to lose. If you show him just a bit of kindness, he'll think again about taking you on. You'll see. Fine, you've convinced me. You can tell him things have been straightened out, but he'd better be on his best behaviour from now on. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit. You're out of it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thanks for the warning. I spoke to the cicators about how they've been treating you. Really? Did you manage to convince them to leave me alone? But you have to promise not to tell anyone what you saw them doing. Then they'll leave you alone. That's a promise I'd be glad to make. I'm forever in your debt, brother. Because now I know I can trust you, there's something I want to tell you. It's about Brother Antonius. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words, but... This is something I'm sure of. Novice Antonius is lying to us. What makes you say that? He claims he's a merchant's son from Vlashen, and that he joined the order voluntarily. The thing is, I spent a great deal of time in Vlashen. I know it like the back of my hand. And no one even remotely like Antonius has ever lived there. Are you sure? Because this could mean that... It's true, or Canute isn't my name. 
That would be my secular name, by the way, but that's not important. I know Flasche, and I know the local merchants there, and I've never seen Antonius among them. Why would he be lying if he had nothing to hide? Thank you for telling me. I'll look into it. The rule of St. Benedict. Readings on daily manipulation. Idle, Mrs. Cabinet. The book stood in there, like you always to see. his disciples with a twofold teaching. That is to say, he should show them all that is good and holy. Ah, Gregor. Even more than by his words, expounding the About those keys. In words to the mm, did you get them? Keys? Disciples. Oh, at least lockpicks. Yes, I have them. For those of harder In that case, come before midnight to the, the cloister garden. I'll be waiting for you there, and, and we'll head called. off. And should know that to whom more is committed. From him, more is required. Let him make... Praise be to Christ. Here I am. You're late. But perhaps we can still make it. Once we're outside, we'll need to be careful and we'll need to be quick. If we're not back before sunrise, someone will realize we've gone and there'll be hell to pay. Where exactly are we going for the wine? Next to the monastery is the house of the custodian, a baron who provides military protection to the monastery. We'll take the wine from him. How do we do that once we're there? Will we need to break into the custodian's cellar? We needn't break in anywhere. It's on the ground floor and usually unlocked. It holds supplies for the whole craftsman's yard and every now and again, someone comes in to fetch something. The only thing we have to make sure is that nobody sees us. Why go to all that trouble? Aren't the monastery wine cellars full? They are. But Brother Solarius keeps records of all the casks, and the prior checks them. They'd investigate if any went missing. Whereas, if someone outside loses the odd cask, they're not going to suspect as monks. That does sound reasonable. What particular wine are the cicadas after? They want some Znoimor wine. But there's no way we'll be able to tell what's what. We'll just grab a cask and head off. I doubt the custodian would have anything of poor quality in his cellar. The brothers will complain. They'll complain even more if they've nothing to drink at all. I'm ready. We can head off. All right. You have the outside keys, so get on walking. Hey! 
What are you doing here? Get lost. Or you're Vessels with quicksilver in them. What troubles you? Praise be to... What fair left to drink to? To our fresh young novices, our swift steeds, and our boundless cellars. You and your novices, you old pervert. A toast to our future abbot. I'll drink to that. So, to John, the future abbot, and a pox on Nevis. And kill... What trouble is... we here? That's it. The book with information about the novices. Interesting. But I still don't know which one of them is pious. Is someone there? Oh, you frightened me. Why aren't you in the dormitory? I've discovered something about the wrongs being committed here. I see. Tell me more. The older brothers are picking on novice Lucas, punishing him when he doesn't deserve it and humiliating him. It seems that now even brothers can't avoid worldly evil. Thank you for the information, and if you can, stand up for him. The older brothers are also out to get me. Any action I take, they'll try to use against me. The circators go into the cellar at night to drink wine. I thought so. John always reeks of it. And he wants to be abbot. Hypocrite. Perhaps if you told the prior, that would clip John's wings. That's all I know. 
If you find out anything else, come to me. I'd be interested to hear it. Talk to me, brother. I'd like to ask... Who's in charge? Abbot Peter is the administrator of the monastery, but you won't see him. He's always traveling, and on top of that, he's old and infirm. Perhaps the good Lord will bless him with many more years of life. And what happens when the old abbot dies? Then we elect a new... What are you doing here? You're playing truant from the monastery, aren't you? The monastery. This looks like the place they were talking about.
Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I left it where it was. What else could I do? So, they lose a monk and find a corpse. How long do you reckon it'll take them to put two and two together? Well, it's not like I was planning to make a career in Rome. Hmm. Fair enough. Soon it won't matter anyway. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sassau, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah! God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. 
Godspeed, lad. What do you want? What is this place? What's going on here? The Imperial Short Wool Sheep Fair. Have you got a sheep? Uh, no. Then bugger off! Before you get hurt! You're here again? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Hi. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. That was easy. Now I bet. Oh my god! Have you seen Eric? I need to speak with him. He's in the main camp at the top, in the big house. His armor is that bright. You can't miss him. I'll go it. Same as ever. Boring as ever. Well paid, but fucking boring all the same. Sentry duty, sleeping, sentry duty. Even the boozing started to lose its thrill. Hey, I'm new here. Can you tell me what's going on? Nothing. Just the way I like it. Getting paid for sitting on my ass. And when things get lively, just look around. There's a good few dozens of us here. Those poor fucking peasants won't know what's hit them, right? Have you heard anything about what we'll be doing next? I don't care. When they tell me it's time to go, I'll go. I don't need to know anymore. You can ask the others, only I wouldn't trust what they say too much. Everyone's got the latest news, and they all know the same bugger all I do. How did you end up here, anyway? You know how it goes. It's always the same story. Lost my trade through my own stupidity and ran away to the woods to get by any way I could. So when I heard they were recruiting, I signed up. Coin is coin. Have you seen Eric? He's in the main camp at the top, in the big house. His armor is that bright. You can't miss him. The wall here is the truth, right? Damn, 
There certainly are enough of them. I uh, guess a good four or five dozen. Those tents look pretty impressive. Quite, These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. Sounds good. So you want to mend my old food? Rivers of blood. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. Just a moment ago. How many times is that? Who stole it off me? I smash his face the fucking pool. Oh, you can fuck off, you can. Whatever you say. When I get the cut who stole it off me, I'll smash his face to a fucking pulp. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. Are you Combat Master Vanyak? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Yes, you taught me sword fighting in Scalis. Wait now. Yes, I do remember. We met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. What a fucking dolt. What a fucking dolt. Where are you going? This is where we fight. You're gonna cry. Jesus, 
you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. Sir, may I...? What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah. He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. He told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet... Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? Hm. Radzik will cross you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. 
Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg? Or Sir Hinek, the dry devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. Ugh. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. <laughs> and let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! Ugh. Knock some manners Ugh. into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. Henry. Henry. Wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really works. You over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? It's Bishek. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards, and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of here alive. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Why don't you go on your own? What would I do? I've been left alone in this world and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you'd better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. A bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? 
Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. All right then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp, on the slope above Sasal, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all? Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well... I'm supposed to be guarding you, so we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. <laughs>